it up for money, the wing girl. Good up, Marnie. Hi, Thank guys. You. Thank you for coming. Thanks for Thank coming you, on. Marnie. This is going to be good. You know why? I have a philosophy about I have a philosophy about lady wing girls. I say never ask a woman uh, any relationship advice. That's my that's my my. I hear thing. you. I agree with that. Most women have no idea what they're talking about and give horrible advice. Okay. Oh, they, wow. Uh, Perfection. Wow. Well, thank you, everybody. This has been a great place. podcast. It's a good podcast. We're just going to shut it down. You want to do <laughs> yeah, your blogs? Exactly. Don't <laughs> listen to me. But I will. I'll tell you something. Most women give advice from a they don't mean to do it, but it's from a a not a, a selfish place for themselves because they advise men. But in their mind, they're thinking about men that they're already attracted to. So that advice that they're putting out there isn't for men who are my clients or for men who potentially listen to this podcast. Right. Therefore, men who are already getting the attraction and have the success with women. Well, you know, it's funny. It's funny you say that because um, I I put it a little different. I said, if you want to know how to hunt deer, you ask the hunter, not the deer. Yeah. Oh, so, trust me. I get that. I get that statement on my YouTube channel all the time. Don't <laughs> ask a fish how to catch a fish. I, I hear I get it. I totally understand. Right. As I said, most women are bad at it. And and I and I and you know I think that there's always exceptions to the rule. Um, I I think that you know that takes a level of empathy to to see it from somebody else's perspective who who from for the most part, you know, doesn't he doesn't doesn't have that experience. To sure. it, it takes a lot of empathy and to 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 look at it from somebody else's perspective and say. If I was in this perspective, these are the these are the obstacles and stuff that I would have to deal with. Yeah. So well, even even as a woman to be ego free and say out loud the things that you're actually attracted to that may potentially make you sound superficial. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not things that women want to be announcing all the time. So that's high, that's more challenging for women. And on the flip side, it's really difficult to understand men and the position that men that are listening to this show or men that I work with, what they're going through on a day to day basis, because a lot of women have a different perception of men. They think of men who are players, men who are jerks, men who are constantly leaving them or leaving them on. So they don't see this whole other side of unbelievable, awesome men who have a little bit lower confidence with women and uh, who don't have the comfort levels to do the things that these other guys do. I think also, you know, when a lot of times you have women who are pursuing these guys who are, um, you know, what they call players and say, because they're picking those guys. Yep. And a lot of times they don't have the value to step up to those guys in the first place. And so a, a, a guy who's accustomed to being, a, you know, having women attracted to or having women approach them and then you're, you know, you're a five and you're like, oh, I'm going to give him. In. And he's and he's like, oh, Yo, you want some you want some free pussy? And he was like, yeah, I'll take some. And then all of a sudden she in her mind, she's created this relationship. What up, Drake? Hi. <laughs> hey, Andre. The, the, uh, he's you know, and then she's created, you know, they, she's created this whole movie in her head about how she thinks this is going to play out and yeah. never even considered that he don't like you. He, uh, you know, that there was that book. He goes like, he's yes. not that into you. He's just not like, that into you. Uh, yeah. Or like that you. I'm going to make him like me because I'm going to do all my tricks that I know of as a woman to change that around. And we become, we become fixated on these guys as challenges for us. Oh, yeah, I, I, I agree with everything that you're saying. Totally. And then, and then the ego, the ego comes into play where because of her ego and the fact that she, then she doesn't even know if she really likes this guy. It becomes more about the Most challenge. Most often they don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, she doesn't like him. And now it becomes about the pursuit. And then as the, and as long as he doesn't fall victim to the pursuit, she'll never even question whether she really likes him in the first place, because it's not the point. It's about the win. And so removing the ego is 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 really important. It's interesting you said that. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.